So tonight I wanted to talk about encouragement for when you're feeling down. So how many of you feel down sometimes for no reason? Feel discouraged, feel sad, feel, you know, off. And um, I think it happens to everyone, every human being on this planet, but especially for brain injury. Life with brain injury is hard. And so many times, like, we fight our emotions and our feelings and our anxiety and feeling depressed. And especially if you have frontal lobe damage or frontal lobe issues, which um, can increase your emotion emotions and make it harder to comprehend emotions and increase your emotional reactions. There's all that that comes into having a brain injury, but there's also the the reality that your life changed so fast so out of nowhere so quickly and living with cognitive deficits and things that affect you on a daily basis it can be really really a lot and it becomes really easy to just kind of like sink in to those feelings and to just feel discouraged and down and off. And I will say, um, within the first year or the first couple years of having a brain injury, a lot of that grief and depression and all of that is, it's so raw and it's so fresh and it's so new that like you have to go through that. Like there's no, like when, this is something my mom always says, there's no way around it. There's no way out there. You just go through it when it comes to grief and pain and trauma and healing, you just have to go through it. And I'm 12 years out from my TBI. And I will say that it wasn't just one brain injury. I've had over 10 concussions since the first TBI. And the most recent one being this past December. And so I don't want people to see, oh, she's 12 years out and she's still like struggling. I do believe that if I didn't have any re-injuries, I'd be in a very different place today than I am because um, one brain injury, healing from one brain injury or two or three is a lot easier than healing from, I've had 12 concussions at least since my first TBI. So like I'm in the double digits when it comes to brain trauma. So <laughs> everyone's journey is different. And you know, I'm just, I, I do all that to say my experience isn't going to be exactly what yours is. And I don't want it to discourage anybody because I have seen a couple people at some point comment that, um, oh, well, it's not hopeful to know that you're over 10 years and still dealing with it. And that's not my goal at all. I want you to find hope. And that's why it's called Hope After Head Injury. But I will say that um, having a lot of re-injuries has set me back. And I know I'm not the only one that's been re-injured and had re-injuries. So, um, but back to what I was originally saying. When you're going through the emotions and the trauma and you're in that early stage of learning to live with a brain injury, there's going to be a lot more ups and downs. There's going to be a lot more emotional hurdles that you have to jump through and a lot more things that you have to get used to in the early stage. And I definitely recommend, you know, working with your therapist and finding the right neuropsychology, finding a support group as early as possible. But when you're living with it for so long, you just get tired of it. Because you're like, okay, yeah, I'm improving. I see that I'm improving little by little, but I'm tired of it being little by little. <laughs> I'm going to live with this the rest of my life. Am I going to live with the th this the rest of my life? Am I ever going to be able to drive? Am I ever going to be able to work a normal job? Am I ever going to go back to how I was before? And you kind of get in this uh, cycles of self-doubt, putting yourself down, getting tired of dealing with it, getting tired of living with it, getting so 
frustrated and annoyed with your brain injury. Like, why won't it just go away? Why am I still living with this? I see this other person has healed more than me. Why is that? Uh, and side note, we can't compare our journeys because all of our journeys are different. But when we get negative patterns of thinking, that is something that we do. So today I wanted to encourage you, bring some encouragement for when you're feeling down. If you're living with brain injury and you are just down and sad and you can't quite put a finger on it, um, you just feel melancholy and off, I just want to encourage you that, first of all, that's part of being human. Human beings get discouraged and feel down and feel sad. Um, so don't be hard on yourself for that. Second of all, look at the environment and see if there are some things that you can change that could possibly help you feel better or some things to help you explain it. Now, this time of year up here in America, I don't know where you're watching this, but in the Northern Hemisphere, it's, it gets dark early and it is, um, it is cold. And when it's cold and it's dark, they have, you know, seasonal, you can get seasonal depression. And that's something that I think affects almost everyone to a certain degree. But with the TBI, with the coldness and the darkness and the weather changes, my head hurts every time the weather changes. Every time it's almost going to rain or it's almost going to snow or it goes from being hot to cold and the air pressure changes, it gives me a really bad headache and it makes me be in pain and I know a lot of you guys have expressed that you experience that as well so take into account that you could be feeling down simply because the weather is changing don't be hard on yourself just go you know what it's a gross day outside it's gross and it's gonna make my head feel gross because my brain is more sensitive to air pressure and just learn how to tell yourself that because it used to be that every time there was a rainy day or something, I would like fall apart. <laughs> I would be like, oh, my head hurts so bad. I feel so off. Like, I don't know why I'm so sad. Like I feel so off and that's an over dramatization, but you get the point. Like it used to be like I would every time the weather would change and I would feel off, I would internalize that. I've learned how to wake up and look outside and be like, you know what? It's gross today. So I have to recognize that I have a headache and I'm probably going to have a headache if I don't have one already. And if the weather's changing quickly, I need to do things to help myself get through this day, such as drinking a lot of water, eating healthy food, maybe taking a migraine medication if you have a certain prescription that you have, and doing that in such a way of preventatively and knowing that, hey, it's a bad day outside, but I don't have to have a bad day. Just because it's the weather's changing and it's causing me to have a headache, I can still have a good day because, you know, I, it's okay, I'm a, I'm a survivor. And another thing, this goes into my next point, kind of just going off the cuff here, but this is all stuff I believe. Going into the next point, um, you are a survivor. Don't ever be down on yourself because you survived. Like you're alive, you're here. A lot of you survived like life-threatening accidents and comas and strokes and brain tumors and all sorts of concussions and all sorts of things that would take people down. And it does take us down a bit, but you're still here. If you're watching this video, if you are able to sit and watch a video and that means you're a survivor, it means you're a survivor because you're alive, you're breathing, your heart is beating, you're here, God still has a plan for your life, you're here. And also, you're watching a video about encouragement, which means that you're a survivor because 
you want to be encouraged. So you're making a choice right now while you're watching this video to be a survivor and say, you know what? Life with brain injury is hard, but I don't want it to be quite as hard and I'm trying to help myself. And the way that we approach ourselves and what we say to ourselves and how we um, talk to ourselves makes a huge difference. And that's something that I have been learning a lot lately. I have experienced a lot of depression. I've experienced anxiety. I've experienced post-traumatic stress disorder from a number of different things, not just the TBI. I went through some abuse in my life um, that I haven't fully shared public about, but I've gone through some stuff that has caused me to be very depressed. And I've had to learn how to talk to myself and tell myself, hey, Christabel, you're a survivor. You are loved, you are valued, you are worthy. And you have to tell yourself these things because otherwise these negative things that come in your mind are gonna take over. So when you're feeling down and when you're feeling off, encouragement is to tell yourself, hey, I'm a little sad today, but I'm a survivor and I'm here and I'm alive and I can keep going. So encourage yourself on that, that you're a survivor. Remind yourself not to give up. And then some other things, practical things you can do. Take a shower. <laughs> um, I know it sometimes can be hard to take a shower, especially if you're in a lot of pain in your body. And so um, that's not always an option. But when you're clean, <laughs> you just feel better. Change your bed sheets. Like <laughs> last week or was it the week before, like I, my mom, my mom helps me. My mom washed my comforter and stuff for me and I put on new sheets and I had a freshly washed com comforter. And I was like, and I took a shower and I went to bed and I was like the happiest, like so happy. I was like, I feel so good about my life right now because I have a clean bed and I'm clean. And you'd be surprised how much that simple thing, changing your pillowcase, changing your sheets, um, can make you feel better. Uh, also put on music, put on some music that you like, that encourages you. Whatever songs are your favorite songs, put them on to remind yourself that, you know, there's still hope. Put on positive songs. Don't put on sad, negative songs. I mean, you can put on, like, songs that get you in your feelings, but, like, you know, not, like, super, like, downers. <laughs> um, songs that are real that encourage you. Uh, that's the kind of songs I try to write. Songs that will encourage you through your hard times. But, um, yeah. And so put on... Put on some songs. Uh, if you use essential oils, which I love, put on your diffuser. I love diffusing lavender. Lavender calms me down like nothing else. I actually have it like right here, my little um, diffuser thingy on this table. And I just put this in there. You just like put water in, just put a couple drops in and then it puts mist out into the room and it makes it smell nice. So do that or light a candle or something that helps your senses, helps your smell. So if you're smelling something good, maybe you won't feel as like down. Do a hobby that you love. If you love to draw, draw. If you love to paint, paint. If you love to watch TV, <laughs> watch a television show that makes you laugh, that makes you smile, watch a happy movie. Um, Play music if you like to play music. Sing along to your favorite song. Cook something if you enjoy cooking. Garden if you like to garden. Whatever whatever your hobby is that you enjoy, try and just set aside even 20 minutes in the day to do that. Another thing is exercise. So, you know, my mom was so funny. I, I talk about my mom all the time. She's like my best friend. But um, my mom quoted Legally Blonde to me. I think it was today or yesterday I was telling her that I was feeling down and she's like but you need to exercise because endorphins make you happy and it was like when Elle Woods is like saying that she would never kill someone because endorphins exercise and whatever um if you seem legally blonde you know what I'm talking about but um exercise gets the blood flow even just some simple like jumping jacks or like if all you can do is do some stretches, like put your arms up and put them down or like walk in place, 
or just like walk a little bit or if you're in a wheelchair maybe you know doing some stretches or whatever kind of exercises your physical therapist has given you I have exercises from Dr. Schmo who's my functional neurologist that I went out to see in Minnesota he gave me certain exercises to do and that like if, if I do those exercises it gets the blood flow going and the blood flows up to my brain and the endorphins go and it just makes you feel a little better so do a little bit of your exercises to try and help when you're feeling down and then of course I mentioned this briefly earlier but nutrition hydration okay drink lots of water and eat foods that are good for you because that will that will help that will help you get through the day and it'll help you feel better so yeah just be encouraged that if you're feeling down remember that it's human it's okay but as a brain injury survivor, there are some tools you can use to help yourself to feel better.